hello guys in this video we will defer the message from our c sharp code and then we will read that deferred message now the defer means keep aside the message for time being it's used when the receiver received the message but then receiver cannot process that message at that time and receiver will process that message at an appropriate time in future and once the message has been deferred the delivery count for that message increases by 1 and the state changes from active to deferred and let's see it in action so we are in azure portal and we have opened that queue and if i say pick from start we have this message in the queue and if i open this you see the contents of message are this message will be deferred okay and before that if you observe the delivery count for this message is zero and state is active and once we defer this message delivery count should become one and state should become deferred so let's go to the visual studio so we are in visual studio so first we have this connection string to connect to our service bus queue in azure portal then this queue name that is the queue from which we will read the message we created this service bus client using connection string then we created this service bus receiver using service bus client and queue name okay and this line number 18 that will actually read the message from the queue i mean this message so this message it will be retrieved by this line that is line number 18 okay and now let's actually try, try to defer this message so what i will do is service bus receiver dot defer message async let's pass this message to it and let's say await let's save our code and let's add a debugger over here okay so uh, let's run our program our program is running and the debugger has been hit and first let's cross check the contents of message whether these are correct so if i expand this you see the body that is this message will be deferred so that is actually the message retrieved from service bus queue okay and now let's go to the portal and let me refresh it pick from start and now you see message is still there but the delivery count it's been one and you see the status it has become deferred okay and now let's try to read this deferred message now to read deferred message we need sequence number and that is 16 over here so let's go to our visual studio again so let's read deferred message so we'll say where deferred message is equal to service bus receiver dot receive deferred message async and then we 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 need to provide sequence number and it was 16 uh, i will add await over here right and let's also comment this line number 21 because uh, we have already deferred this message and now we are simply trying to read that deferred message okay so let's run our program so our debugger has been hit let's go back to the visual studio and if i take my mouse to this deferred message if we expand this see the body this message will be deferred right and that was that message and we have actually received it from the deferred section of the queue okay so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening